ready. Get ready. Let me throw it up the west side. <laughs> so we're back. Another episode of the Tulsa Live Podcast, the most authentic, most organic. And we have, if you haven't seen her on your For You page, you're probably already follow her, and she ends up on your page. But we got Michelle in the house. Let's go. Yeah. Give it up. Yeah. Ooh, 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 your ooh. favorite barista, <laughs> your favorite girl your favorite. making, what are you, making burgers, no? We're flipping burgers. Flipping burgers, and yeah. We're making drinks. Our bestie here, too, flips burgers on our off time. Oh, my God, really? <laughs> Wait, what store do you work at? <gasps> I'm 167. <gasps> yeah! Now you be my neighbor's store. What? What level are you? Do you want to switch spots? What level are you? No. <laughs> you want to switch? <gasps> I've been working on my level seven for a hot minute. No, I'm just, I gave up. Put the mic up. Yeah! The mic up. The mic up. Literally! Literally! No. <laughs> All right, let's get right into this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could we could have switched spots with Angela already, but Angela no, said she's too famous for this. Sorry, Angela. Wow, it's my show. It's level seven. It's, it's, my, it's level Sorry, seven. I'm level six. She said there's <laughs> levels to this. There is. That's what she said. There is. Um, let's get right into this. Where exactly are you from? What's your city? Your nationality? Let's get right into this. Let's know I about am you. I'm from Venice Beach, California. I'm born and raised in Venice. I moved out to the IE. I'm currently in the IE right now. But, yeah, I'm from Venice Beach. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Give it up for Venice. There we go. Literally. There we go. 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 Literally. What, yeah. So when did you move out to the IE? Um, Probably when I was in middle school. I was like, okay, middle school. Um, But before the IE, I lived in Mexico for a bit. Yeah. Wow. Do yeah. your your people, like your followers and all that, they know all this? A little bit. Um, I talked about it somewhere else. But um, yeah, okay. we lived out there for a little bit, and we would cross what the border part? every day. What part? Um, Tijuana. Just Tijuana Tijuana's. only because we still would go to school here. So we would cross the border every day oh, sure. to go to school. How was, like, how was that experience coming up? It was humbling. Mm. Humbling. <laughs> I love um, it. <laughs> Yeah, for the most part, it was a lot of um, humbling for myself and then also gratitude towards my parents, especially my mom. So my dad ended up um, living out here, staying out here to continue working, and we lived out there. And my mom would cross the border every day with us so we could go to school. Oh. And, you know, 3 a.m., 2 a.m. vibes, and then we would sleep at a Walmart parking lot and then go to school. Yeah, if we got, like, let's say we crossed the border a little bit early, we would just, like, you know, pass out somewhere because we would wake up really early. You know, you never know with the borders, especially, you know, if it's really busy, if it's not. You wake so, up 10 minutes late, it's too no, long. No, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're going to stay home. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we don't go to Tijuana. It's too long. <laughs> no, literally. But, uh, yeah, it was it was an interesting thing that happened in my life. And, actually, I'm really grateful for it because I did learn a lot and I grew a lot from it. But What's one thing that you took from that experience right there? Uh, being more appreciative of my parents. My mom and my dad, especially my mom. My dad, too, because he stayed over here, and he hustled and worked his ass off to maintain us, and yeah. it's rough. So with, rough. with the whole, you guys out there, you're coming up. So the whole thing about this podcast is giving you the flowers, you know, sharing, shining Edible light. arrangements. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> send them our way. We'll send a P.O. box. Don't worry about no, it. literally. <laughs> <laughs> um. Is to give you the flowers, your story, because right now your social media is booming. What's the number you have on TikTok right now? Sure. So just yesterday I had 530. Today I have 548. Hey. Damn. No, literally. <laughs> I am goat. a humble queen. I am really grateful. I would have never expected that in a million years. Ever. Ever. Like, my Bella has seen me from the beginning. Like, I just have, keep telling her every day, like, I never would have expected this ever to happen. Ever. That is crazy. That's crazy. But you always have a smile. Every time yeah. you do your videos, every time you're posting, I mean, your your following is obviously huge, and people are following you for a reason. What do you take from being in social media and being on this type of platform now? Hmm. I don't know. It's a little hard to say or to say the right thing, only because I really don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I really don't know what I'm so doing. So what do you do? Like, what's your thought process when you go into a video? Well, turn up. <laughs> turn up. If, if your Starbucks is a little late, you know why. 
Literally, you know. No, 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 no. That's what we're not going to do. We're here to clear the confusion. I do those on my breaks. Or maybe sometimes when we close, I run to the back and I'll film like one or two. And then I'm like, okay, it's only like 20 seconds. So do people feel and starstruck when they see you like in the drive through or when they come up? Um, You know what? It's hasn't, it happened once or twice at my Starbucks because I don't really post the Starbucks I work at. I feel like I did a beat. Game over. Like, that's it. We're out of business. Like, I'm done. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's happened at like a club, bars mostly where I get recognized. And I'm like, oh shit. Like, they're like, hey, you're on TikTok. And I'm like, yeah, I am on TikTok. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm like, yeah. That, that, that happens a lot. But at work, it's happened, you know, here or there. But yeah, I feel like one time I met this really sweet girl. She was in the drive. She's like, aren't you on TikTok? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, well, give me your ad so I can follow you back. She's like, you don't have to. And I was like, no. We have to. I was like, give me your app. But that's like the probably like one of the coolest experiences I had so yeah. far at work. It's happened at in and out here and there, but obviously it's a different work environment and I'm not in my Starbucks uniform, so it's a little bit harder for people to be like, ah. You grind. We grind in. So what what for everybody listening in, tuning in because they really want to know about you and how you do things, what does your daily schedule look like? Because you're posting on TikTok, <laughs> you're on IG obviously, and yeah. you're working two jobs. Okay, so it just depends. I'm training right now for my level seven here and there. So sometimes I have shifts at in and out at 8 a.m. earliest. Um, and so let's say, yeah, I have an 8 a.m. shift to 5.30 with a half. Um, I get up at like 6 or 7, you know, shower, do my thing, go to work, blah, 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 blah. Run home because I have work at either 7 or 8. Eat something really quick, and then I won't be off till 1 a.m. And then do it all over again the next day. Yeah. And then in between, I just Ooh. film here and there. I go on live sometimes before work yeah. at Starbucks, and people just know, like, oh, it's dark. And I'm like, yeah, I'm at work. I'm sitting in my car. <laughs> 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 but uh, that's that's kind of the daily. So how do you balance all that? And then you balance, for, for us, we started this off mental health because we don't, there's a lot of people that don't talk about this. It's a topic that a lot of people put up to the side. Mm -hmm. You know, people don't know us behind closed doors. Now they know us because we're very open on this podcast. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of people out there that this week, shout out to everybody that, that messaged us, that shared their stories with us. Like, there is people that literally, because they listen to the stories, it saved their life. Mm -hmm. So I want to get into that with you. Like, mm -hmm. how do you balance living your nine to five, your regular work, your social media, and then you? It's been hard, especially the last month. Um, I've had something unexpected happen. Yeah. And I already, I feel like I've been struggling a lot with my mental health since I probably was in high school. You know, you go through some stuff that... Like breakups? Um... <laughs> We all, um, go, we all go through those breakups. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, breakups, especially breakups, um, you know, personal stuff that goes on at home, work yeah. life. But now doing, like, social media, it's, it's kind of hard because you just sit there and, you know, I'm obviously just as normal as the person next to me um, yeah. in a sense, you know, because I'm still working, doing everyday normal things, You're you know. You're a person. You're a human yeah, being. Yeah, I'm a human being like anybody else. So it's just interesting to see sometimes, like, the comments that I get. Like hate comments, and then like in the last month, some yeah, other comments other stuff, that yeah, yeah. have happened, and to still work the hours that I work, and you know put my blood, sweat, and tears not only in my work ethic but in my social media ethic, and then maintain a sane space with not only myself but with my family, my loved ones has been very overwhelming. So what does that look like? What does a sane space look to you? What is a um, like unplugging from the world look like to you to like you're gonna laugh no nah, nah, nah. I go I mean, shopping okay never mind <laughs> you're never mind, done I laugh. <laughs> you're done you're done you're, you're done. done you're done um shopping is a good source of therapy not the best one because it's retail but minus the shopping I read a lot I've been uh, a lot favorite book favorite book right now Oh my God. It, it's about, I, I forgot the name, but it's one book and it's super good. How to good. shop? How to shop. Shopping Addiction 101, <laughs> how to maintain it and your lifestyle. No. <laughs> um, self, -help, self, bleh, self help books and journaling. Ooh. Yeah. It's been helping a lot. I heard. And writing music. Wait, what? 
She's a singer, huh, Bella? <laughs> All right. We're, we're asking her BFFF behind BFFL. the scenes. BFFL. Is she a good singer? Yes. Oh. Yes, girl. Literally. <laughs> So what do you, yeah. what do you, what do you, what's the writing in English and Spanish? What's the genre? Mostly in English, a little bit of Spanish, but mostly English. Like a, like a bad buddy type of thing? Like no, a, just like more. Post Malone, yeah, triste. Yeah, triste. Ooh, a lot a of little, feeling into it. A lot it. of feeling. I put my heart in my, but honestly, long story short, funny story. I've been writing music since I was probably a chamaquita, like probably eight or nine. I used to have like a purple, not a purple, a blue book. And I would just write music. Yeah. That's weird. Like, what type of fucking eight-year-old is going to sit and write music? But I used to do that. Now, a little bit older, I sit and just, you know, it's like poetry. You're just sitting there and in your thoughts, and, you know, you're writing music. What's one uh, one verse that you wrote that, like, you always think about? Damn. No, we can't say that. It's about heartbreak, and we're not going to talk about that. We don't want to talk about heartbreak? It's called Pisces Men Ain't Shit. That was a line. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Dylan, walk out right now. Wait, Dylan. can we cuss on here? No. Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck yeah, like, it's our platform. <laughs> this is authentically us. This is our platform. This is where we get to be who we are, really, because I tell them and I tell everybody, the way we are in here is the way we are in off. Like, we're literally these bad motherfuckers outside period. of this, period. Like, like us, hate us, love us. Love. All love here. All love here. All love and mad you. respect, too. You have to. It, yeah. It's, um, especially right now with the way the world is working, society, generations, like, it is a tough. You you can impact somebody very heavily on the way you interact with them. Mm -hmm. Maybe even, like, we all have bad days, right? Mm -hmm. And it can start off with when you go to a store, say you're working uh, retail behind the register, mm -hmm. and someone's coming with a happy Happy thing, and they tell you, hey, how are you? Can I order this? And you're there just with, like, an ugly attitude. They're going to be like, fuck, bro. Mm -hmm. Like, what's like, what, did, like what did I do? Yeah. You know what I mean? But before, it'd be like, oh, fuck that person. No, it's like, just, fuck you. Amargada, amargado. <laughs> but now it's like, yo, I really wonder what's, what's wrong. Mm -hmm. like, maybe something's wrong at home. Mm -hmm. Maybe the relationship is something going wrong. Maybe yep. they're missing something. I can't blame them. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their time. Yep. So what's one thing, one moment that you had that, that was tough. Like, like it was um, we call it we call it but we call it a turn back moment when you felt like just ah fuck this I'm not gonna do this anymore. My yeah. last relationship, Ooh. it was terrible. <laughs> um, I remember just putting my foot down and saying I couldn't do it anymore, and it was. A hard decision for me to make but also the best decision I could yeah. have made because of how toxic it was Ooh. but when I finally put my foot down it was like am I really putting my foot down like I did every other time where I was like oh I'm done and walk away but come back. come back or am I really set on like my goal which is leaving um but during that process I remember just finally being like dude I just can't fucking do this anymore like it's not only physically, mentally draining me, like, this is hurting me in every single aspect I could think of. It's affecting my life. So yeah. I put my foot down, and I was like, you know what? I got to go. And it was – it. I don't feel like people really express heartbreak. Nah. It feels – We express it in uh, fuck that – Fuck that food, fuck that girl. <laughs> fuck that bitch. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, Yep, that's why we go to the gym. Because we're triste. We're triste or whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, I just was like, you know what? Enough is enough. And I walked away. And it was, like I said, the heartbreak behind the, my the decision. Yeah. Was so bad. I don't feel like people, it felt like somebody was ripping my fucking organs apart not to be dramatic but i'm like oh my god just fucking crying and throwing up in my room just i went through a dark hole of like depression but during that time i was also trying to motivate myself going to the gym i lost 20 pounds in like five weeks i weighed 150 almost 60 pounds 150 i was weighing almost 160 and then we broke up you know you gain that uh Ooh, relationship yeah. weight and i gained a lot so after that break, I was like, fuck, dude, not only am I fucking heartbroken, but I'm 
not okay with myself. No. <laughs> so I just, you know, I wasn't eating healthy, but I was eating healthy. Like I was just create, trying to create those habits of, you know, eating better, sleeping better, um, training myself to be mentally okay because I wasn't okay all the time. But definitely was going through that dark hole heartbreak, depression, but I was also pushing myself in the gym, working out, running. I would get off of work and run at like 12 o'clock at night. She built different, literally. So it was, uh, it was, it was rough. So it was rough. give us that. Think about it if you're talking to a young woman mm-hmm. that's coming to you to advise like, hey, I'm having this type of issue. How do I move on? How do I get out of it? Like a confidence type of thing to them. Mm-hmm. I would say, no, my headphones falling. <laughs> Hold on, we got to pause. Cause it's <laughs> Sorry, it was bothering me because it kept falling. You can make it smaller on the... I'm like, I got a big head. So. Me too. <laughs> it's because we think a lot. We have a lot in our mind. No, definitely. literally, literally. Okay, pause, 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 pause. Yeah, you can make it smaller. Okay, I had the same problem on the last podcast. I was like, dude, why do they keep falling? Okay, are we good? We're good? We got bells? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a happy dad? You know what? I'll take one. What flavor? There's wild cherry, lemon, happy dad. We got you. Wild cherry. I'm feeling a little wild. Watermelon. Yeah, that's his favorite. Really? It's a Gemini thing. Ah, oh. not our birthdays being one day apart. Literally, Literally. where's yours? Cheers. Oh, it toes. Brindis, to- pa arriba, pa abajo, pa el centro y pa adentro. <laughs> <laughs> she brought the flavor. <laughs> Brindis, pinkies oh. no. Ahí viene la quinceañera. Ahí viene la quinceañera. Ahí viene la quinceañera. No. A pásenle. <laughs> I mean, like, hey, <laughs> you got, okay. <laughs> what, what was the Gemini fam- man getting down over there now? What, what was the famous song? <laughs> Tiempo de uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, literally. Everybody. Every, I hope. Do you guys have a quinceanera? I never had one. Did you have one? Did you have one? Yeah. Was, was that your quinceanera song? <laughs> She's a. Yeah. No, baby. <laughs> Camila oh. miente. Nah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, my God. Oh. Are you going to hit us with the verse? Oh, my God, no. <laughs> Damn, I was like, my heart stopped. Stop. (laughs) So, that piece of advice. Distract yourself. Even though it's hard to do that, I always say, like, um, hang out with friends. And if you don't have any, do things by yourself. You have to learn how to love yourself again, especially after getting out of a, let's say, toxic relationship. Because not every relationship is toxic. Sometimes it just didn't work. But... Learn your learn to love yourself again and find a hobby that you can do by yourself and enjoy it. Find love in that and in yourself and grow out of it. God damn. Good. Ah. Thank you, thank you. I'll be back next week now. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got it. So the after you so you went to TJ, did you come back to Venice or you went straight to the IE after that? Straight to the IE. That's I am body just you know we brought it so you're now you considered IE or are you still nah famous? um I'm considered IE I've been there for a hot minute but I remember like the culture shock getting to the IE no disrespect but like even the weather it's different it's different, it's different. I, live, I live in Fontana so it's oh you do mm, yeah <laughs> Fontucky where now y'all being neighbors your day apart on birthdays, we're over here. No, literally, what a small world! It what is, a small world. it is, it is, what it is. So, the cultural chalk, you went over there now with your whole platform. Are you planning ahead? Like, hey, I gotta go do something else, I gotta invest in myself. Yeah, we're looking at agents right now. I don't want to say too much, <laughs> but uh, definitely looking at agents. I've been a free agent for a hot minute. Like, I have my personal email on my bio. And yeah. um, thankfully, a lot of great things have happened because of it. I think the latest one, which is, like, my biggest accomplishment by far, is, like, my collab with Pretty Little Thing. Yeah. yeah. I was like, fuck, Shout out. Yes, yeah. Sir. Dude, let's fucking go. But I, I remember getting that email, and I was like, there's no way in hell. Like, you want me to go where? 
and do what? It was a great experience, and that was probably the most exciting thing that's, that's happened to me so far, but definitely. So how'd you feel right after that? Surreal. I was walking back to my little Toyota Corolla, like, ah, look at where, I, where I'm at, but I'm going to go back to. That's a red um, flag. It's sport. It's <laughs> that's a red flag. sport. <laughs> You drive a Toyota Corolla or a Honda? She's a sport. A we actually came here in sport, right, Bella? Literally, I said, fuck the gas. We're zooming up in this bitch. Here uh, Don't play. Don't so play. <laughs> red flag means mm. nanga. I was like, where? <laughs> There's red flags. Yeah, yeah. In the Hondas, we told Angela, drive the Honda, Honda, that's a red flag. Wow, period queen? That's not a red what? flag. She Wait. whipping in the foreign. She whipping in the foreign. What color is your Corolla? White. <laughs> Yours is white? If she drives period. any white car, that's a red flag. No, it's not. White so. is just classy. It's different. It's popping. It's popping. <laughs> Don't play. Nah, we never play. We only tell the truth. Yeah, we, we sit and tell the truth. We do. We're in the hot seat, so let's get into the hot seat. <laughs> Go ahead. You sure? Go, go ahead. Ooh. So what's a red flag for you? Pisces. <laughs> We're gone. Good thing I'm not a Pisces. You're offended. I'm Pisces. not offended. Men. <laughs> Um, no, so uh, no. the qualities, what, what's a quality now that you're, I mean, you're working your ass off, you're on the platforms, you're building a, an empire in yourself. What is a, like, what are qualities now in relationships? Like, uh, relationship type of thing. <sighs> I've been single for two years and during this time, obviously you're, trying to figure out what you want to do and like what what do you want in your next relationship and for me I just want to be respected I feel like I've only been in probably three or four relationships but my most serious ones were like two and they were very long um and I honestly was never respected in any aspect and I'm talking like physically and mentally so for me, especially in this last one, it was the same thing. I just want to be respected. I want to be appreciated. I want to be understood. Yeah. Um, and I also want to do that with, I mean, on my partner's side too. Like I want to give them the same affection and love that they give me. Boundaries, but not like just respect in general. Hey, what about and support? Oh, let me talk to On the lower back? Ah. They didn't got one. <laughs> Oh, you do? Wait, You're a Gemini. Baby, I'm sorry. You do? You have one on your lower back? <laughs> no, literally. Let me see. What is it? He has a, no. No. He has a, Don't we, play. He has a Winnie the Pooh in the back. You're lying. <laughs> you do? No. No, just kidding. <laughs> he, 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 oh, we're not, we won't say it anyway. I won't say it. I won't say it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. There's I won't something say down there, though. <laughs> no. There's something down there, then. <laughs> no. Yo quiero mirar. No. I want to see. I'm interested. There's something down there. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Pause. Pause. <laughs> Gotta compose. Composure. So, with the... What about, like, support-wise? Because you're busy. Do you hope that the other person is just as busy or at least doing something productive, like is building also their own empire? I'm actually talking to somebody right now along those lines. Oh. <laughs> so you're off the market. More like empire, empire. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. It's interesting to see that dynamic play out because both pretty busy people, but somehow yeah. we just, you know, we're making it kind of. Now that that's can never say too much though, because you know. No, we know about tomorrow. We've actually talked about this before, like uh, in our Q and A coming out on Monday. If you haven't, subscribe and tune into that one. Um, <laughs> it's when you're doing something productive and you're busy, and obviously to build something in these type of platforms nowadays, you got to be working constantly. Yeah. And for some people, guys and girls, I'm not trying to downplay any any of the genders, but. 
to some people, they're not ready and they're just like, yo, you don't have time for me anymore. Or, you know, you're, why are you out there? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? And it's a big problem, especially because, I mean, for myself, we said it before, two or three years ago, we didn't see this. Mm -hmm. We didn't see the growth. We didn't see like, oh, we're going to be here. Now, and other people, we've had messages and stuff like, hey, my partner doesn't agree with me going to work. My partner is on my ass 24-7 because I'm working too much. Mm -hmm. So it's like there is people out there that are going through those transitions but don't know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. Like, do you have any, you going through this right now, do you have any, like, something you remember or go by that you can give to them, like, give them, like, kind of sort of an, an advice? For, like, the whole partner? Going yeah, for, like, you say someone told you, like, Hey, I want to be with you, but you're just way too busy for me. Bye. <laughs> Respectfully, li literally, bye. Like, if you don't have time for me, or we don't have time for each other. You know, if you wanted to, you would type of thing. Oh, oh. Literally, if you wanted to, you would. Um, Even if the it's phone late. Work, yeah. Huh? Even if it's late. Yeah. Phone works both ways. Yeah, phone works. That's exactly what I was gonna say. The phone works both ways. Um, you either make time to see each other, or bye. Respectfully. respectfully and also that screams kind of insecurities and maybe it was brought on because of their last relationship or something that's happened or what they saw growing up but at the same time you got to think like you're your own person you're a growing adult you're learning things every day and you have to understand that everybody's different not everybody's going to think like you or right. act like you or agree with what you say but if you can work with that or work with each other especially in a relationship you can make it work if you wanted to so you want. Did you have to let that go from the previous ones that you went through to now get into where you're in now? Yes. So insecurities, did you have any? A lot. Um, especially in my last relationship, only because he did cheat on me. I love you guys. <laughs> so for me, it'd be like, dude, why are you drinking after closing? You know, like, what's the, why, why are we drinking? Like, you know, who are you with? Like, why are you out till 4 a.m.? You know? It was stuff like that, and then to come to find out that he was just cheating on me the whole time with, like, other associates. So, mm. it was great. So, <laughs> well, like, what about... Great! <laughs> yeah. So, like, really, what about now? So, say now your significant other... I mean, not throwing any shots. Right now, shots your, <laughs> your significant other says, hey, I'm going to go hang out with my friends after, after closing. Is there an insecurity now because you don't know what you bring to the table, or is it more like, hey, I'm going to trust you? You know what you're doing, and if you were to fuck up, that's on you, and it's your loss. Straight up. Have a good one if you fuck it up. I trust you. I put all my faith in you. I don't even, like, before I'd be like, yeah, I need to have your location on. Now I'm like, no, go have fun. <laughs> have at it. <laughs> Bete. But be safe. If you need anything, call me. Like, I'll go pick you up. Like, that type of stuff. I feel like I definitely matured in that aspect. I'm not very, like in my eyes as like oh my god what are you doing like that's there's no point like why even be in a relationship at that point if you're just gonna be nagging at each other 24 7 do you double text mm. they don't answer do you send another text no the, recently like no especially like in my last ones no i kind of just like you're changing it up yeah i'm just going with the flow going like it goes back to the thing if you wanted to you would and like respecting boundaries and just knowing each other but no i don't really feel like i've Go crazy in that aspect. Don't be looking at Bella. Don't be looking at Bella. Bella, I'm on the hot she seat right now, and I'm not <laughs> lying. I'm being honest. She's laughing. I'm under oath. We gotta ask why are you laughing. Bit. No. Why are you? You were laughing. She's just like. Mm. No. In the past, she's laughing because of my past. Damn! Stop it! Run it! Run. Damn! Twenty nine minutes. Make sure you subscribe to all the channels. Subscribe to Again, if you haven't followed the TikTok, <laughs> you got to follow the TikTok. It's going to brighten up your day. It's going to see behind the scenes. She's on the latest and <laughs> sounds and <laughs> Literally, I'm on it. Dude how, I, do you, dude, how do you even remember all these fucking dances? I don't know. I kind of just make them up. Like the last one, my money don't jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I literally did that shit. I was like, eh. I didn't even know the fucking dance. I was like, I'm going to wing it. Jiggle, jiggle, then fold. Okay, wiggle, wiggle, and then go, whatever. We were vibing in the back room. I was like, hey. What, hey. what is what is your goal with this whole platform that you're building? To make my parents happy, but also prove them wrong. Mm. <laughs> um, I do have support from my parents, but 
I kind of feel like they're like, girl. Social media is not one of it's their. It's not uh, it. But I'm like, no, I, I see this as a long term thing and I want to buy them a house, a car. I want to get them some, not even materialistic things, just kind of like. You want to take care of them. I want to take care of them like they took care of me. Bad. And this is something I definitely just want to do as my career and kind of gift them if it ever, like, happens, which we're manifesting. Um, nah, gift them nah, if, if it happens. But you already did it wrong. You said if. It, when, it, it when it happens. We just talked about that manifestation. That sounds cocky. No, nah, no, nah, nah, because we're cocky. built for this. I felt, I felt bad. No, no, no <laughs> you got to think about it this way. When you're confident enough in yourself, you know you're meant for greatness. You've gone through hell and back. You've gone through ups, ups and downs, but you're still here. You're still continuing. There's only one reason why your platforms are growing, because you haven't stopped. Y con la ayuda de Dios. Yeah. Y con la ayuda de Dios. Yes, yes ma'am. We got to praise up, up to the highest praise power. Praise my Lord. I'm yes. not the holiest, but I believe in my Lord and Savior. Ah, you got to believe in the, in the higher power. But the, y la happy we, dad. It, <laughs> happy dad. Now, boys, full send. Talk to we'll us. Um, but we talked about this. Me and Angela just talked about this earlier, literally right before you got here. And it's manifestation. Like, you know, okay. knowing you're going to get to the position you want to be in because you're not you're not just hoping, oh, well, hopefully it comes. Like, no, 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 no. We're working this for this shit. Fuck yeah, and you're busting. It's a cutthroat. Yes. In this fucking industry. Like, literally. Cutthroat as you, fuck. You have to be on your Consistent toes. Too. Consistent, too. Mm-hmm. That's Talking to a couple of people the last couple of days, they're like, oh, bro, like, how do you do it? I was like, fool, I'm literally posting three times at least on TikTok. I am. IG twice. Oh, I see we're, we're fucking, <laughs> we're doing this, we're doing that. Like, it's, it's nonstop. We're recording every Sunday, every weekend. We're having episodes out every Monday. Mm-hmm. But it's not, it's not to prove anybody else wrong. It's not. Because if I'm doing it for everybody else to prove them wrong, I'm doing it for the wrong reasons. Yeah. It's because... The message has to get out to those people that really need it. Mm-hmm. We are building a, a brand and a program that yo know, people are gonna find and listen, and they're gonna be like, "Yo, like if you guys can do it, why can't we?" Mm-hmm. That's it. You gotta believe in yourself. Mm-hmm. So right. have you have you doubted yourself throughout this process? <sighs> All the time. Um, I think I started TikTok when I was in my like my toxic relationship, and he would always be like, "You look dumb as fuck, posting. Why are you posting?" Um, like talking about some of my coworkers, I used to work at an old in and out, like, and I transferred for so many reasons, but one of them being like, also because I felt like a hostile work environment, yeah. um, respectfully, I mean, it just wasn't the environment for me. And they'd be like, yeah, like you look, you know, they would talk shit. You look dumb. And now they're like, oh, like, oh, I seen you on TikTok. I, know, I always believe in you. And I'm like, you're talking shit. <laughs> Who are you? No. <laughs> um, but it's. I mean, unapologetically. <clears throat> Yeah. I mean. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. They, they, those people, I mean, regardless, those people know. And throughout the process, I mean, they can say whatever they say. They can think whatever they think. Yet we're still here. We're prospering and we're thriving. Yes. For ourselves. Not yeah, for them. Yeah, for, for us. us. For us. For us. Doing it for our future. So <laughs> with the, you talked about like your parents. And uh, to me, that's that's a beautiful thing. So what's. When you started this, do you plan at one point just going full throttle social media? Yes. Um, I'm in the process. It's hard because um, I'm trying to talk to agents and then also, I mean, I am a free agent, quote. So I'm also trying to answer back emails with brand deals and stuff. But it's hard. She took a couple months to reply to my email. But it it happened. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> manifestation though don't play um i'm trying to make it my full-time career but then again i'm like how does the bag look good when you get to like hired by certain people yeah, <laughs> yeah. She's uh, like, yeah yeah now I'm like, yeah, my rates start at blah, blah, blah for a post. And I've done that before. I'm like, oh, I just, my free agent, I could say, I could throw out a number. And she, they'd be like, okay. And I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Run my sh- money. Shout out to our boy Duno, bro. The, hey, he, shout what, out. What did he say in the last one? He was like, certain people came and, I mean, the price wasn't right. The bag wasn't correct. The bag wasn't correct. Yes. Literally, you got to talk numbers. Run them up. You have to. 
You just have to. I mean, you, you built so so much. So you want me, you want to be a part of my exactly. empire? Exactly. We gotta pay up respectfully. 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 But you add value. Yeah. Um. To some extent, it just depends. Like, I feel like the last promo I did was for, like, some jersey. I mean, I don't really watch basketball. But, um, same. Oh, get the f- you don't? Get the f- I love baseball. Here. I watch baseball. I actually used to score keep and coach my little brother's baseball team. Did you play sports in high school? No. Oh. No. Okay. She did dance. You she. Did? she. <laughs> I said she. Oh. I'm like, she who's talking about? I did dance. No. Okay, you did dance. Cheerleader? No. 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 I, I could probably I probably could have done that. I just stuck to dance. <laughs> <laughs> no one awesome. my ass, I'd be all up on that. But I was like, no, nah, just I'll do dance. Keep it low key. Keep gotta humble ourselves. What how many siblings do you got? I'm one of four. One of four. Oldest, yeah. middle. I'm middle. They my forgot sis- about you for no, sure. No, they really they did. did. That's it. They that, really that's did. that happened to this one. guy. They forgot about him. Uh what where are you? Middle. You're middle? I'm a middle too. Yeah, how many siblings do you have? I have an older sister and I have a little sister. Um, yeah, so I'm 26 and my little sister is fuck. <laughs> not you knowing. Nah, where, where are we at? She was Not you not knowing. Damn, 10. My little are sister's you sure? 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A ver, mirame. Si, yes. You're lying. Problem. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. It, it's funny. Her, her, birth, her birthday is the same day as my dad's, so they just both had a birthday in March. So yeah, she's ten. She's a Pisces. Oh <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. Mar- yes, yeah, so I heard March. Bro, Mar- trigger warning. Trigger warning. My PTSD is Mar- kicking in right March twenty first. What is that? Is that? Yeah, that is. I don't know because all I know is I'm a Scorpio. I'm fucking legend. Whoa! I'm a Remember Adam was Adam was a Scorpio. One of my shift leads is a Scorpio. We're hmm. great. Very great. I we, love we get along pretty good. But your attitude, baby, it's a little strong. Is it strong? No cap. <laughs> no cap. Nah, tú te llevas muy bien. Tú ah. te llevas muy bien. This is Angela behind the scenes just shaking her head. Angela, say something. Wait, when's your birthday? October 25th. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm right, at, according to other people, I'm, like, right in that, uh, yeah, You're yeah. right in the flames. Yeah, it's not like I was en- ending Scorpio, but I was going to enter it. But I guess, grace of God, I was born that day. <laughs> 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 not the grace of God. We are Scorpio. It's, dude, that's great. <laughs> Every sign, I'm like, <laughs> that is what? great. So, Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> After, yeah. throwing, after throwing shade, she's like, no, that's great. I'm so glad for you. I'm happy for you. <laughs> the subtle shade. I just think. So what's That's one good. thing about your sign that you're so? I think Gemini's are the, the goat. Gemini's are the goat. Okay. We carry. Oh. We carry. Kanye's a Gemini. I like Kanye. He's a legend. He's I mean, legend. what he's doing right now, maybe he's not like. Good, but like, if you look at his story, I he mean, bought a house at the cross street from his baby mama. That's legend. <laughs> That's yeah, that legend. is. We're gonna put that out there, <laughs> Kanye. I hope one day you watch this. You're a legend. Gemini's are just built different. You can do it all. I don't know about Scorpios, though. So, eh. switching gears. Just kidding. <laughs> like, down. Like, that's oh, tough. That's fucking tough right there. Can we keep it? No. Ella sabe. Ella sabe. Really, Bala? Tu si sabe. Really, Bala? Si You're going to betray me? <laughs> I'm a little rising. Oh, but it, it, there's, right, there's, I'm like, a, a rising. Gemini. There's Double like, homicide on my own because I'm a double Gemini. Yeah. Murder, she wrote. Murder. I, yeah, we're not too into that. One of our friends, Jackie, she's into, like, the rising and all that mm-hmm. other good stuff. I'm just like, do all I know is a Scorpio. After that's that, all I need to know, too. That's, <laughs> that's you need to go any deeper. But what, are you, what are you, Angela? <laughs> oh, you're Sag. I love Sag and Aries. They're probably my favorite. I did this one, I <laughs> People watching are like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with this astrology <laughs> having ass bitch? And I'm like, oh my god, you're a such a It's so crazy because I think a lot of people are into that right now. Mm. They're all into like signs and what what's the biggest thing right now? Like if your sign doesn't match my sign, we're never gonna Yeah, play. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they start texting and like, what's your sign? What time were you born at? Red flag, red flag, run, sis. Don't walk, run. So 
Yeah, because I seen one today. They were like, oh, what's your sign? And I don't believe in that bullshit because you're going to say something <laughs> and you don't even know it's true. <laughs> they said something like, oh, yeah, that's me. Like, oh, is that your sign? He's like, no, but you believed it. So Facts. there's doesn't, no, no, I mean, tiene caso, no, no, tiene no caso. importa. No. I'm just going with the flow. It's not real. You talk a lot of Spanish? I mean, I feel like mm, not as much, but when I lived in Mexico, yeah, like, yeah, like every when day. That was. No, literally, and they had the um, the little like people, you know, in their cars are like ah, like ah, how can I explain it? You know what I'm talking about, right? They have little sirens on their fucking car, waking up at like 8 a.m. throwing newspapers at your fucking door. El bon. El bon. I'm like, yeah. shut the fuck up, brother. <laughs> Shut up, I'm trying yeah. to fucking sleep. El gas. Shit. Waking up at 2 a.m. every day. <laughs> Yo, el gas. El gas. El gas. I'm like, bruh, no mames. Uh, if, 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 <laughs> you, if you really got into Mexico and you stayed there during the week in the little ranchitos, you know. If you know, you know. You, if you know, you know. That's Literally. All Literally. So let's switch gears now. And switch. now that you've transitioned from not having a platform to having a platform, your friend group. How important is your friend group? Right what? here. My bells. That's Got all you. I have left of my friend group. No shit. Like That's all I have left of my friend group. What's your decide? The way I'm going to cry. <laughs> <laughs> she's not enough or what? No, it's enough. No, she's more than enough. She's more than enough. Um, no, I'm dead. I going to cry. It's a happy dad. It's because I'm so happy. <laughs> that and my family, but friend-wise, I've lost every single friendship I could ever think of. It's been it's been rough. Is it because of platform? Like yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know if people. Well, the last friendship, I don't know if she got intimidated or I don't know if she got upset that I was doing stuff social media related. And I will tell her like I was hanging around with some famous YouTuber. I don't know if I should say it. You're gonna cut it out. Oh fuck no. Cut it. No. Okay, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, cover the mic. Cover the mic. Uh-huh. Hell yeah. Um, I was hanging around with them for a minute, and and um, sh- I would tell her, like, yeah, I went to for a party. And I was like, no fucking way. Like, where the fuck am I right now? Like, fuck yeah, dude. Like, I've never been to such a nice house. So, obviously, you're telling your bestie, like, Dude, I got fucking lit last night. They had an open bar. They have fucking, like, I don't even know what type of tequila, but fucking thousands of them lined up on the wall. Like, that shit was badass. That was, good, good. No, that fucking good. I was driving up in the hills again with my little Toyota Corolla. Like, hey. <laughs> She's like, I have Whoa. a workout in and out tomorrow, but I don't give a fuck. I'm a pull up. She was like, hold oh, a stop sign? Fuck the stop sign. Nah, fuck. I know where I'm at right now. I'm in the hills, baby. Those don't exist. <laughs> respectfully i'm like if there's cops watching it i'm just kidding i stop Fuck, at I every stop sign it's weird one time on a live there was a cop that hopped on my no life. way he was like i'm a cop and i was like oh good thank for you. you thank you respectfully for, for joining us thank you but um, <laughs> i'm at home drinking <laughs> not driving <laughs> um i remember telling her uh this ex- exciting things that were happening and the things exciting, that was yeah, yeah. yeah i was like this is kind of sick you know i grew up watching him you know and whatever so thought it was Cool. Oh, I also met, like, Kane Brown. Went to Kane Brown's after party, that type of shit. Yeah, dude, it was fucking badass. The whole week, I was fucking living That's it up. Fucking. I was like, oh, my God, I'm in the same room, room Country as Kane motherfucker. Brown. Country, motherfucker. You don't know who Kane Brown is? No, I said you don't know who Kane Brown is. Oh. No, he's not this way. Like, that's not bad. It was a small little after party, too, so it wasn't, like, a big one. It was a small one, and it was super nice. But um, I remember telling her, she was like, I don't feel like you should be hanging out with da 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 Like, obviously, I'm going through the motions. There was more stuff happening, but she'd just be like, no, no, no. And in that aspect, I lost her. We just stopped talking. The last time I talked to her, there was an In-N-Out picnic. I'm like, you know about that. There was an In-N-Out picnic happening. We were supposed to go together. And she's like, no, I don't want to go with you. Like, I don't know where you've been. Like, COVID's happening right now. And I was like, no fucking way. You know what type of fucking event we're going to right now? Like, you got to be shitting me. It was wow. terrible. I still went. I was so fucking sad and bummed out. It was, and I just lost that friend. And just at lost le- I think it leads me to a great motherfucking question. How do you deal with losing those type of friends? Mm. 
I cry a lot. <laughs> um, and I also work like a motherfucker. I feel like my work ethic picks up my toxic trait. It picks up a lot when I'm um going through something yeah. just to distract myself from whatever I'm feeling. But well, like, but if they obviously that those. They were your friend and stuff like that. They were. But, like, if someone tells you, like, yo, you got to be the bigger person. You got to go talk to them and make it right. Well. Um, like, how does. So, it's just transitions, right? Because I've always said it, like, if you're ready to walk out of my life and you're not agreeing with what I'm doing, mm -hmm. but I'm prospering. I'm like, the door's open. <laughs> That's me. The door's wide open. I see. If you don't. I mean, I'm not saying that in a, like condescending way or like an evil way it's kind of like dude if you don't agree with what i'm doing then you can and you're like not creating a more so of a positive space for me because i feel like half the time i'm already so negative about myself and what i'm doing then you know doors open but i felt like the those relationships exited themselves i never pushed them to go they more so just left and i feel like god did that to be honest that was god's work god kind of removes those bad grapes that are, you know, in your life. And there was a couple of them, actually, that just, you know, weren't for me, unfortunately. Yeah. But it is what it is. I mean, you're just, you're building so much. Like, I mean, she just said it, too. Like, yo, there's opportunities that come up that, I mean, we'll be stupid if we pass them up. No. <laughs> I know. <laughs> like, if there's opportunities that once we've never, one, gotten or seen, like, yo, why would we pass it up? Mm-hmm. Obviously, we got to go be ourselves, act correctly, and stuff like that. But, I mean, to grow in an industry that's super populated, you got to be different. You got to do things that other people wouldn't or mm -hmm. don't want to do. And whoever wants to join on, and I always call it, like, the bus of success. Hey, bring something to the table. Let's all prosper. Let's do it together. But if you want to be negative and if you want to be that bad apple and be like, nah, no, no. It's like, yo, like. I do want to ask, have you lost any friendships on the way? Yeah. Has it affected you a lot? Oh, gotcha. It was bad. Yeah. Like, not in a bad, like, um, I'm on the rampage and just talking shit or anything. Mm -hmm. Like, it affected me because there's only, out of a lot of friends that I had at one point, like, I only had one complete friend, mm -hmm. and there was, like, damn, like, nine, ten years. We went from, like, so when we went when we started college, we went to community Mount Sac, and I was driving a, a Honda. Ah, uh, there you go, Karma, <laughs> just bitch your ass right now, huh? In the ha, ha, Honda, <laughs> I was driving temblando, Honda. like <laughs> there you go, Karma, huh? Talking about her Honda, yes, Queen. Period. You had a Honda, you had a, a bougie car, but anyways, I had a Honda, <laughs> and shit, I didn't. I mean, we weren't working. So we would get some money, and literally we would pump gas, and it would be negative 20 in our accounts. No, literally. And I, I drive, you drive, this, this, this. And then we, I mean, life happens, people grow apart, but it was just the value that was happening. Like, yo, we've, I completely moved out. The value that was being in my life, like, yo, I can't go to certain places and spend money recklessly mm -hmm. because I got I got rent to pay. Yeah, you got bills got, to pay. I got bills, like something bigger. And when that fallout happened, I mean, it, it hurt, but now the people that I got around me, my other best friends, Moras and everybody, I'm living life. I'm, I'm rich because now um, people that see us with my, with my friends and I post them, they're like, dude, like, oh, you guys are always together. You're always having mm -hmm. fun. Unfortunately, my brother passed away in October. Sorry about that. Thank you. And everybody that was messaging me, like, dude, I've always seen them with you guys so happy. Mm -hmm. like, I'm like, yeah, because once you enter our circle – different mm -hmm. like we don't and i was just telling her like yo you don't need to show up with thousands of followers th bags no of literally <laughs> you don't gotta show up with nothing just bring positive energy yeah. bring value yo we we got you mm -hmm. and and it's sad like we don't gotta i don't gotta take anything from you i want to pick your brain i want to know about you but you don't gotta oh you gotta bring this this no 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 come with the right vibes yeah. come with the right intentions and we're valued mm -hmm. that's why we're i mean we're talking about like Throwing out the I love yous. Stuff wow, like that. you say that? You say that too? Nah, we say oh it to each God. other. I say it too. I love you, bitch. <laughs> I don't call him that. <laughs> I love you, bitch. I never <laughs> stop loving you, bitch. Yeah, I like for for us, even like us, I'm a I try to normalize as much. I'm a big hugger. 
with my boys, with my primos, everything. As you should. Like, that should be normalized. Yeah. I don't really feel like. What, what's your favorite uh, musician or artist right now, if you have one? Mm, Cristian Nadal. Damn. She hit him. What's your, what's your favorite song? Sing it. Yo no sé mañana. There you go. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that's a good song. That's a good is. song. Um, it's cute. But, <laughs> like, I listen to, like, uh, interviews, podcasts. One of my, my favorite is Kevin Gates. His thing is when you hug somebody, like, you can just feel the energy. Mm -hmm. Like, if Are you, you big on vibes? Yes. Yeah, like, if I know you're, like, you're already bad, and I'll just give you a little handshake. Uh -huh. yeah. You could definitely yeah, just yeah. tell. Even just, even how they're walking up to you sometimes, or looking at, they're looking at you, not looking. I'm very just, like, analytical in that sense. I'm like, I don't yeah. fuck with you. I'm sorry. Like, I can't, <laughs> I can't hug you, because I already know, like, me vas a pasar el mal de ojo. Oh, yeah, yeah, And I'm like, I'm wearing that right now. There it is. <laughs> I'm like, hold on. We want my million bracelets, huh, Bella? <laughs> hey, I million like, yeah. bracelets, but we're going to zoom in, and they, she has, no, like, a snake is. right there on her fingers, She's too. She's a cute little... Okay, little, okay. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, no, we're big. Like, I'm with, big on vibes. With, with him, I'm really good friends with his dad. I probably hang out with his dad more now, still. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> un teclita Besties. mi coach, un teclita mi coach. <laughs> <laughs> so like him, uh, with her, like just everybody, just hugs. Like I want to feel your energy. What energy do you have? And maybe some people do need hugs. Where's my energy? But honestly, oh. wow, <laughs> wow, that you, says a lot. You had to throw out the Honda with me. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> nah, it was amazing. It's amazing. Oh, thank like, you. I felt the from, same. From That's what I said. On, on camera to not being on your platform is like it's very genuine. I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> tell you that you. very genuine. You're very hype. Like thank you. That's that's definitely that how person. I am all around, especially at work, dude. I'm like the fucking hype man. Like in every out, literally at fucking inner, I'm like bitch. You better throw it down. <laughs> throw that shit down. We're getting fucked up. But YOLO, turn up. Down, period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so. Loud in that aspect, but vibes. Were you like this in high school? In no, school? I had no friends, and I was in a relation. Well, I was with my high school sweet high school sweetheart from sophomore year till I was like twenty. So we were together for X Y Z. So I never had any side group of friends. I probably had one, but that was it. I was yeah. just with my boyfriend all the time. I was one of those dumb bitches. Like yeah, me novio. I va la mensa. <laughs> <laughs> Not we. I mean, what is, what is in the high school? When as soon as you get out of class, just walk with each other. Yeah, let's go find each other. Oh, you want to hang out at brunch? <laughs> Wait for me there. I'll be there right now. You want to work in brunch? And then as soon as I'm gonna hang out with this person during lunch, why? Yeah. Why do you want to hang out with me? What are you why? doing? Who are you going with? So I gotta go hang out in the restroom stall by myself. Uh, in the field. Honest, honestly, <laughs> high school. Oh Did you, were you in a relationship in high school? Yeah, no, my is the worst no one. No Toxic. Way. It was toxic. I think it was, it was actually my. How long? Fuck. It Shit. was like three years. The three oh years, my God. almost four. But uh, it was bad. I They were cheating on me the whole year in front of me. I never noticed. No. I was naive. I was naive. Yeah. They were telling me, I was like, nah, 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 nah. You, you don't want to believe it. She was a year older. And wow. I got, literally, I got. Got her cheating the day of my football game. So I'm no like, way. that shit was the funniest shit. I was like, I'm going to go play it late half. I'm ready. No. We did it. And then to find out that she was sitting with my mom the whole time. No I'm way. Like, no tienes vergüenza. No tienes vergüenza. No hay pena. No hay pena. No hay pena. But, I mean, taking from the whole thing, and especially now, it's like, yo, like, insecurities are, were, were bitch. Mm -hmm. I was in I was super insecure. I'm like, oh, this one has that. This one has that. Oh, this. Here. Now it's like, eh. si quieres, quieres. Yeah. Si quieres estar con gonna un come Scorpio, to me eventually. Wow. Scorpio. Andamos. Scorpio. Andamos mejor. <laughs> <laughs> Be backing up into the corner like Scorpio. <laughs> yeah. What do you have a phrase that you live by right now? <sighs> Fuck it, we ball. Thank okay. you for thank you for coming to my TED talk. Fuck it, we ball. <laughs> that sounds stupid. How'd 
up. I don't know. How did that come about? No, like, it was it some trending at one point, like probably a long time ago, but I still use it. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. We're bringing it back now. What the fuck? Gang, gang. <laughs> fuck it, we ball. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what does everybody have looking forward to in the next couple months, year for you? YouTube. I'm starting my YouTube. Starting it back up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, there was supposed to be a video film. Obviously, life happens and decisions were made, and I just decided to put off on it. I'm still very indecisive about it. Yeah. But other than that, creating just regular content, everyday life type of things, whatever the people want to see, I'm excited to do that. So YouTube, and we'll see from there. That's exciting. Yeah. And uh, yeah. and we always <laughs> have we always ask most of the time and on a mental health scale on a one to ten how are you feeling and ten is perfect one you're dying <laughs> 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm crying and throwing up ya, on a one. Madre. Uno, ya madre. Ya madre. Ya um, madre. I'm at an eight mm. I can say last week I was probably at a one or two weeks ago I was at a one but um we're at a solid eight we're there you know. How was that? What did you do to get to that eight? Um, a lot of self reflection and working. <laughs> get your I mind love off. working. Get your mind off a lot of shit. Yeah, I fucking that's that's the worst thing about me is I fucking work till I die. But lately, I've just been like, dude, I need a break. Like, I need. I just know when I hit that like burnout stage where I'm like, dude, I'm fucking done. Yeah. Um, I'm burnt out from social media. I'm burnt out from work. Like, I need a break. So that happened the last two weeks, and then on top of that, other stuff that was going on. So now we're at a solid eight. Guess what, guys? How about you? Scale of one to ten. Scale one Flip to the ten. tables. Oh. He said two. All right, so two. Stop You're it. You're a two. No, stop it. Do it again. No. Uh, scale one to ten, how am I? Honestly, after this whole week, I'm at a, I'm at a seven. What? I'm at a seven. May I ask why? Um, so I'm very, I'm very critical on myself. I won't give myself the flowers. I won't think I'm doing enough. I think you should. You're doing badass shit. To thank be honest, you. thank you. Thank it's you. It's really you. inspiring, refreshing to see the things that you're doing and you should be proud of it you should fucking pat yourself on the back and be like fuck yeah i'm doing this shit look at what you're you're doing <laughs> no literally and you guys too behind the scenes yeah, everything yeah. that you guys are doing literally like you said you're building an empire and you're it's cutthroat but you're fucking doing it yeah and we're, it is thank you're you doing appreciate it you. i appreciate you saying that yeah. um so let's I, make it a ton yeah it's not a seven no more <laughs> I, so i think we can make it an eight yeah that's me. i think for not being to not, like, for me, I, I don't think I'll any time be a 9 or a 10 because I always feel like there's always improvement. Exactly. And we've talked about this before. I don't want to give myself the complete flowers. I don't want to get my 10 toes off the floor because mm -hmm. I feel like I'll be settled. Like, oh, we're good. Right now we're chilling. They know it. I'm blowing up their phone every day like, hey, can we do this? Hey, what do you think this, 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 mm -hmm. this? There's so much shit to do. My thing is now that I be patient. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come with the work that we're doing, mm -hmm. but I got to make sure that I'm like you, like I'll bust my ass from morning to the morning to the night mm -hmm. and until my body one day is just like, yeah, güey, parale. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> like, yeah, parale, güey, no mames, te estás pasando. Yeah. And I'm just like, all right, I got to take a small break. Mm -hmm. And my small break is I probably won't go to the gym, probably just hit the sauna, just chill, okay. go home, and then we're chilling. But other than that, I'm like, Full force. Go. Yeah. It, my force. sleep apnea is my. <laughs> sleep no. Apnea literally my. the last two days. <laughs> the last Dude, two days no, have been she bad. Re she replied on IG like, like at three, 2 in the morning, almost 3, 3 in the morning. I'm like, oh, what the fuck are you doing away? I was like, I can't sleep. <laughs> Yesterday was the same. Yeah. Yesterday was the same. I think it was no, like yeah. almost like, like Go to sleep early 10, and I'm over here up. I, I could not like, sleep. Did like, you? I was like, dormete temprano porque... <laughs> No, oh, mañana. Oh, no, literally. <laughs> he knows it. I call him every Saturday, and I call him, like, at a good time before he goes out or anything. I'm like, hey, make sure we got to go up. We got to be mm, up. Can't be hung over over here. <laughs> no. <laughs> I know there was one time I called him. I was at a party, and I called him. I, I texted him. I was like, hey, Dave, where are you? He's like, oh, I'm at home. I was like, hey, I'm going to get out of this party, and I'm going to get jumped. I need you. 
fucking just two two seconds later, two seconds later, he's fucking like you can hear him running. He's like, "Hey, where you at? Where you at?" I was like, no I'm, just, I'm, I'm, "I'm just kidding, fool." <laughs> it's because his dad sent me sent me a video of him taking a shot. <gasps> So I was just wow. like, I was like, all right, I got to tell him before no. I remind them. Now you're being calculating. <laughs> you said, and you and you pulled up. Mm, you were nah, I stopped them. I stopped them. I was like, no, I'm I was like, I'm at a party. I'm good. Don't worry about no. it. I was like, I just want to, I want to check in with you. Your dad. <laughs> <laughs> no. I had, nah, but Angela busted a bender yesterday. She worked late, closing shift. I didn't know. Girl, you're on a turnaround. Uh, <laughs> girl, I feel you. Just drink a Red Bull, call it. The girl, I feel you though. That you a trooper though. You which tr- you're running the shift, huh? And you're when they went on there, huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, spread tomato crown. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, she she's working. Both both of them are hardworking. Aubrey right now is in Seattle, and she's twenty four seven with us also. But the team, the team is huge. Their support system. Yeah, you're, you're really blessed. I can see. What's your support system look like? Mm. And, my, and my mom and my dad. That's it. My family. That's all you got. That's all you need. Literally, yeah. I felt, I felt like I had built a support system uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it turns out with me expressing everything that was going on, it was like me bragging. Mm. That's unfortunate. You know, yeah. you everybody's different, though. Like, you're going to take it as, as it is, but... Yeah, I don't really. Everybody, I everybody has their own. Everybody's different. Opinions. Yeah, yeah. Que Dios los bendiga, you know, like I said, the people that come and go, but um, a little bells. She deals with my anxiety and shit. <laughs> yeah, literally. Yeah, I mean, I think that's just supposed like how it's supposed to be. Uh, Dylan's always known that, and now Angela, that's with us. Like she said, oh, I got a new uh job, and I'm like, dude, fuck yeah, run you that did? shit. Period. Oh she's like, I forgot. No, she's like, oh wait, I did, I did that. <laughs> yes, I was like, as soon as so you're done with um, the burger. Uh, well, we're, we're we're there. You already got that job. Period, Queen. As you yeah. should, as you should. But instead of like, I think what what's a good quote that everybody tells you when you leave a good job, dude? How are you gonna leave that great job? It's so hard yeah, to get in there. Li- I'm like, like, girl, if you know, you know. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. It's so hard to get in. Why are you doing that? Yeah, Don't yeah, leave. Yeah, yeah. It's like, uh, because yeah. I know I can do this. Yeah, because I got my big girl job. <laughs> Respectfully. Because I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, period. <laughs> so what, what, what's a, a quote you can leave us with? Um, Damn, you're leaving me on the hot seat right now. I don't want to say something dumb. Well, it's not that it's authentic to you. I mean, if you're going through something right now, it'll get better. And take it day by day. And drink your water and take your vitamins. That's my slogan right there. Drink your water and take your vitamins. <laughs> That's it. Take your fucking vitamins. Take your daily. vitamins. People forget. <laughs> Damn. I'm going like, to take your gummies, your Pedialyte. A, a Pedialyte? No, hold on. We got to take, take a toast, my boy. What are you doing? I'm taking mine. Woo! I'm taking mine. Woo! Why are we going Let's so go. One, two, fast. three. There we go. One, three shots of vodka. <laughs> Only two ounces of vodka. Two ounces of vodka. <laughs> Terramana. Everybody got to make sure we all fuck with it. Oh. Damn, Dylan. I, I saw know, a Don Julio. Yes. Stop Blanco. Dude, I'm kind of down, but no. So I'm, I'm driving. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, we yeah, don't. We no. don't promote that. We yet. don't promote that. I literally, this is the only thing I've had, and it's half like. But she loves it. I'm she not loves driving. Happy Bella's day. driving now. Bella's driving. You getting? <gasps> food? Are you just getting food out here in LA too? Yeah. Yeah, we're already yeah, out here. We're already out here. What are you gonna do? Up. Just fucking drive all the way back? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know Bella knowing us. Fuck it, let's go home. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, we got nothing else to do. Let's go home. Fuck it. Fuck it, we go. All right, so. I want to honestly give a toast. I want to give you the flowers for, one, busting your butt and building the platform that you're building. It's growing. Yeah. It, it's, it's nonstop. If someone has told you or hasn't told you, like, yo, I don't even know you, but I'm so proud of you, <laughs> you. for doing all that, surviving, going through the ups and downs, still putting a smile on your face and sharing that smile with everybody else's because 
I tell them, and I always tell everybody, your smile can change a lot of lives. And with the platform you have, I'm sure you're changing everybody's lives that interact with you. Mm. Or that when you show up on their For You page, yeah. <laughs> just like, hey, getting groovy with hey, it. My buddy, don't <laughs> jiggle, jiggle. <laughs> it falls. Seven ass, seven ass. Hey, we should do one. Seven ass, seven ass. No, literally. We should do one. We should do one. Side don't, note. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't be ashamed of me, okay? I'm hyped. Um, but yeah, definitely, you got to make sure everybody subscribes, tunes in, taps in. The movement is growing, the pages are growing, platforms are growing, and we're still just getting started. Thank you for having me, I wanted to say. Um, thank you so much for having me, and I appreciate you guys being here, too. I know you're on a turnaround, girl, and I know you're out here prospering, too. Bella, thank you for being here, too. <laughs> um, but, no, thank you so much for having me. I really am super grateful that you gave me the opportunity to be here, and... I had a great time, so thank you. Oh, me too, me too. So it's so happy dad to Amana. Happy dad, baby. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah.